This is Coffee with God. And let us begin this day with the Word of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. The passage is taken from the Message Version of the Bible. At that point, Peter got up the nerve to ask, Master, how many times do I forgive a brother or sister who hurts me? Seven? Jesus replied, Seven? Hardly. Try seventy times seven. The kingdom of God is like a king who decided to square accounts with his servants. As he got underway, one servant was brought before him who had run up a debt of a hundred thousand dollars. He couldn't pay up, so the king ordered the man, along with his wife, children, and goods, to be auctioned off at the slave market. The poor wretch threw himself at the king's feet and begged, Give me a chance, and I'll pay it all back. Touched by this plea, the king let him off, erasing the debt. The servant was no sooner out of the room when he came upon one of his fellow servants who owed him ten dollars. He seized him by the throat and demanded, Pay up now. The poor wretch threw himself down and begged, Give me a chance and I'll pay it all back. But he wouldn't do it. He had him arrested and put in jail until the debt was paid. When the other servants saw this going on, they were outraged and brought a detailed report to the king. The king summoned the man and said, You evil servant, I forgave your entire debt when you begged me for mercy. Shouldn't you be compelled to be merciful to your fellow servant who asked for mercy? The king was furious and put the screws to the man until he paid back his entire debt. And that's exactly what my Father in heaven is going to do to teach each one of you who doesn't forgive unconditionally anyone who asks for mercy. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. You will pay for it. We are given a catechesis by Jesus about the unity of brothers and sisters, and he ends it with a promise. I assure you that if two of you agree and ask for a grace, it will be granted to you. Peace, friendship, and unity among brothers and sisters attract God's kindness and providence. But it is not always easy to be in union with the people around us. Disagreements and quarrels are common. And Peter asked Jesus, What should we do with those who offend us? If my brother offends me, how many times must I forgive him? Seven times? And Jesus answered with an idiom, 70 times 7. You should always forgive. Our selfish hearts are always attached to hatred, revenge and resentment. It is no secret that hate has destroyed many families. Hatred is passed down from generation to generation. We have witnessed siblings who refuse to greet each other in front of the coffins of their deceased parents due to old grudges. The devil succeeds in convincing us that nurturing hatred is a sign of strength and to love and forgive is a sign of weakness. The devil always takes advantage of our grudges in order to destroy everything. Our sin keeps us from becoming close to the Lord who celebrates our repentance and forgets all our sins. When God forgives us, all our past sins are forgotten. God loses the memory of the awful stories of so many of our sins. There is only one thing He asks of us. Learn to forgive as the Lord forgives you. Have you ever said to anyone, you will pay for it? 
this word is neither christian nor humane jesus generosity teaches us that we must forgive in order to be admitted to heaven remember the lord asking this question when you go to mass and remember your brother has something against you reconcile first don't come to me with love for me in one hand and hatred for your brother in the other let us do one thing when we receive the sacrament of reconciliation or at the beginning of every mass when we pray for the forgiveness from the lord and from our brothers and sisters let us first ask ourselves do i forgive if i do not forgive i should not pretend to ask for forgiveness because i will not be forgiven asking for forgiveness is forgiving they both go together they can't be separated